Hey everyone, Captain Beards here, bringing you another Landgrisser mobile video. Let's get it. Alright guys, so as you can see by the title of this video, I'm bringing my quick tips back. This is going to be a quick tips on managing gold. I thought since I'm level 56, I'm four levels away from getting to a uh, max level here. I thought it'd be a great time to uh, bring my quick tips back and let you beginner players know and let you advanced players know how you guys should be managing your gold. Um, and because gold becomes a very, very, very stressful thing in the later stages of the game, about levels one through 40, I would say, you don't really concern yourself too much with it. You worry about it, but it's never too much. And then after that 40 range, it just becomes a nightmare. And then at 50, it becomes hell pretty much. So first, let's go into uh, the store here real quick. First of all, rule number one, don't buy anything from the black market. Do not buy anything here um, unless you are completely end game. All your characters are pretty much maxed out and you're overflowing with gold. Then don't even touch this page. Um, but like I said, if you are like overflowing with gold or you are an extreme whale that you can just buy gold from the store, then yeah, then this page would be for you. But unfortunately for most of us players that are not whales, we cannot even look at this page because they're just overpriced. It's just way too overpriced, especially being that, for instance, my Leon literally laughs at these epic XP potions. So 50,000 golds for that is a giant waste. Um, into the honor section here, there's nothing here for your gold. Uh, friends obsession, same thing. Nothing here for your gold. I mean, this is where you're going to be grabbing your um, XP potions and hammers and stuff like that. It is pretty good. Do just do note that when you're um, using the hammers, you are using gold. So that's something to understand that it does cost gold to use those hammers. So, and then into the equipment section here. Now, there is gold here to be bought. 120,000 gold. Um, now, the thing about it is it costs 2,000 of these ores, right? If you are a new player in this game don't even touch this do not because you are wasting your time grabbing the 120,000 gold for 2,000 of your ores that is a giant waste no a new player your best bet is to actually start grabbing some of these SR weapons SR armors SR headgear and definitely 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 the special enchantment packs if you are a new player waste your ores on this do not waste your ores on the gold because if you are a new player and you waste your waste um, your ores on the gold, you're going to be set back because you are not going to have any good armor or anything because you can't even use your gold to upgrade your armor because you're not going to have any armor or headgear or weapons, right? If you are an advanced player, and I say beyond like level 45, and your characters are pretty much, they have all their equipment, um, you're sitting it with a lot of material spirit, martial spirits here then i would say maybe it's worth it but understand guys i'm level 56 and my characters laugh at 120,000 gold right i i can barely even upgrade some of their stuff with just 120,000 gold so it costs a lot and i mean a lot so you got to think is it really worth 2,000 of these ores for this gold i mean it's completely up to you but advanced players you should know it's a yes or no for you um i rather spend my um investments in my martial spirits here and my special enchantment packs anyways besides that these are the other ores here they don't offer any gold it'd be nice if they offer like 1 million gold for like 100 of these ores that'd be pretty cool um trinity crystals here um now this is the whale page <laughs> this this really is the whale page because uh it's just overpriced um 50 000 gold for 30 crystals is not worth it never ever ever is it worth it um neither are these prices here so 600 crystals for a million two hundred thousand gold i just had a million gold you guys uh if you watch in a couple of my previous videos you would see that i actually hit over a million gold and that shit dropped so fast because i started upgrading some of my characters and it was just brutal and i mean brutal so a million two thousand million two hundred thousand gold is not worth it unless you are a whale so don't even look at this 
Um, then you got skins, but skins are nothing. You can recharge your crystals there. I don't recommend that. Um, oh, real quick, guys. You guys were wondering how do I get my um, three times in my daily missions. I get three. I can do Anarchy's missions three times and stuff like that. This is the page for you. You can go ahead and look at these. And you can get some bonuses when you grab these, which are really, really good. If you if you love this game, you definitely want to pick up the VIP privileges and stuff like that. So, getting gold. You can get gold from missions. Your number one source of gold is going to be the stolen treasure. Alright, the goblins. Now, what I like to do is I like to do this once a day. I have three keys, and I could do all three. But then that makes me too uh, crazy, and I start wasting all my gold. So, I like to manage it, and I do this once a day. Um, just in case, because if I do end up pulling somebody like Zoraida, then I want to be able to go back in and do this a couple more times, so that way I have an influx of gold, so that way a new character can be built up immediately, and I can get that video out to you guys immediately. So definitely do the goblins. Do note, they do not attack you, so if you are worried about that, come in here and just put on your strong units and take them down. That's for beginners, for more advanced players, for medium to advanced players you know to throw on your aoe units and pretty much truck them down now i like to sit at, sit at stage level 45 i could do 50 and 55 easily but then the hp for the goblins goes high really really high and it's not fun because then you might not be able to kill them all when i do level 45 i actually get about 180 to 200 000 gold every single run so pretty much that's that's a lot you're going to get gold from everything else too, but not as much as the stolen treasure. Also on the map, uh, some event missions, I don't have any up right now. You do get gold from that. Now going into your bag here, let's take a look at equipment. You can actually go in and sell some of your equipment. For instance, we'll take that. Okay, go to the forge. No, nope, my bad. Wrong thing. Go to alchemy. Now what you're going to do is go to equipment and we'll take some of the silver. So you, you can grab a couple of these, about five of these. Well, I'll do, let's do 10. All right, no, eight. That's eight. Now let's do 10. All right, so there are about 10 of these. And for 10 silvers, you're going to get 6,000 gold, right? Now, one, one silver is going to give you 600. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, but believe it or not, that actually is quite a bit um, and it can add up especially if you're in the later stages of the game for bronze you're gonna get 120 which is okay um, if you're in the later stages of the game it's gonna give me a lot more because this one's leveled up a bit and has an enchantment on it but if you're in the later stages of the game then yes getting rid of your um, silvers this way is actually pretty good um, it's another way to get gold it's not the best way but it is pretty good now don't even touch your golds yes if you sell a gold you're gonna get some ores you're also gonna get some gold um, but the problem with this is you need these equipments in order to um, enhance your other equipments so let me show you real quick I know this is a quick tips video so I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible here go into cherries equipment so you see her helmet is a uh, level 20 here now I can go ahead and sell this helmet because I have extras of them but I'd rather come into here this page here and upgrade this helmet so I can star up even more and level up even more and get it even stronger right by the way sweeping missions and doing missions in the time riff and stuff like that give you gold 295 gold there um, it's not a lot but I mean it's something it does add up over time same thing with this one I'll go in here sweep this a couple times a more higher level mission more gold 573 that stuff does add up so doing missions making sure your energy is completely wasted it does help tremendously so that way so that was five four thousand gold there or three thousand gold there and i just leveled that up so don't get rid of your ss not ssr sr equipment for gold it is not worth it because yes you you are going to get a lot of gold from them but then you are going to cry when you try to uh, star up your equipment and then you have to keep using your martial spirits here. Now I don't have to use my martial spirits. Now I can just use the extra SR equipment I have. Now if you have an overflow, an influx of SR equipment, then yeah, go ahead and get rid of it. But if you do not, then definitely, definitely, definitely save it. 
All right, so that's something I have to level up here too. Now, now we're at this page. Let's go into the characters. This is going to be the final part of managing your gold characters, right? Now, likely for us, when you use XP potions and stuff, they don't require any gold. You're not going to take any gold from that, which is absolutely awesome. Um, when you're changing up equipment, if I'm swapping equipment to somebody else's equipment, right? Swapping gear, it's not going to take any gold, which is awesome. The only thing that characters take gold in is enchantments and leveling up equipment. Now, let's go into this thing since we already got here. Uh, I do gotta level this one up. I gotta, I'm gonna rebuild her today, so I might do a video on that. Um, so, going to here to this new helmet that we just got, and we wanna level up to level 30 here, right? One of these hammers are gonna cost you 9,600 gold. So, if you put all five on, you're at 48,000 gold. I'm at 125,000. That's not even getting it to max level either. So that is a lot, and I mean a lot, guys. So you want to make sure that you are very mindful on who's getting the equipment startups and who's getting the enchantments and things like that. Another thing, too, is take a look at this, guys. Let's go to one of her. Uh... We'll do this one. Yeah, we'll do this one. Okay. Well, let's first make sure she can't put on anything better here. No. Okay. So. So let's go into this page here and let's go into enchantments here. Now you're going to want to focus on the gold enchantments. Now do note though, check this out. So I want to, I'm going to start re-enhancing her stuff, re-enchanting her stuff. I'm rebuilding her, right? That's 5,000 gold. I do that. Oh man, I don't like that one. That's another 5,000 gold gone. Do that. Man, I don't like that one. That's another 5,000 gold gone. And it can keep going and going and going until you get the stats you want. And by the time you know it, you have a zero gold left. 5,000 gold. So do note, guys, that enchantments can butcher you just as much as upgrading your equipment. So be very mindful and uh, don't get too thirsty on what enchantments should you uh, be focusing on. Like, try not to go for a crazy high stats because it might not just happen. You might not get lucky. So do understand that, guys. Now, that's pretty much for all my tips on gold and managing it. Just be very mindful. One thing I can say is if you are a beginner in the game, you don't have to concern yourself too much with all of this. Um, just have a good time, level up your characters, and have fun with the game. Now, once you hit, like I say, once you hit about level 40, get about 8 characters, and then just straight up focus on those 8 characters and only those 8 characters. If you try to be like me, and focus on your whole entire box here then it's gonna be a pretty big of a headache especially to keep up with everybody else me i could care less about keeping up with everybody else just because you know i'm a youtuber i'm trying to bring an influx of content and i'm trying to be different that's my thing is being different and just having fun with the game that's what i'm all about anyways guys before i let you guys go we have uh, i think six six summons here yeah, we got six summons here. So we're going to hit a couple of singles and then I'm going to let you guys go. I think my next video is going to be on a Freya versus a Vargas or Vargas versus Freya. So it's going to be like character builds on both of them, but then just matching them like up against each other and see which one does better. I think so. I'm not too sure. Or I might do individual guides, but... I know a lot of people compare the two, and it's not a bad thing, but they do have their differences, and if you ask me it, which one's better, I cannot really give you an answer for that. You have to wait for the video. <laughs> Just a few singles here, nothing too crazy. What I might do before um, Zoraida's banner goes away completely is I might buy a, a stack of uh, vouchers and just do one more mass summon. Or I might just, you know, be smart and save, which I think is the right choice. But you guys know me, I'm very impatient and I want Zoraida, but I'm trying for you guys, I really am. So. I think this is a 
This is all I can give you guys. <laughs> all right. Six singles, and we got a gold here. Okay. So an SR, that's not too bad out of six. Varna. Not bad, not bad. I'll take it. And last one. There we go. I was going to bring you guys some Dragon Ball Legends uh, summons for the new Gogeta, but Gogeta apparently is, uh, well, my account apparently. Something's happening with it. Narm. I think that's a sign to finally uh, build her up. She is halfway built, so I am currently working on her too. Anyways, guys, let's see if we can start up any of those new heroes that we got. Narm and Varna. Varna? Nope. How about Narm? Narm's at 32. No, who? She's five stars. Jeesh. I pulled a lot of her. Anyways, guys, it's your boy, Captain Beers. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace out.